Man, that game was one of those hard fought football games that could have went either way. Um, uh, offensively, we had to be able to score more points. Defensively, we got to be able to not give up the big play. Um, but I never questioned our guys. I felt like they were locked. Um, but they played a, a, a good game, a fantastic game. And at the end of the, the you know, the ball fell in, fell in their favor. But I was proud of our guys. I was proud of the way we played. You know, unfortunately, we lost the game. But that's one of those close games that can go either way. Um, so we just got to do what we got to do to try and bounce back uh, next week and get this win. You know, that's the bottom line. I uh, had a great week of practice. You know, biggest thing is getting back healthy. That you can play seven contenders in your first seven games. Biggest thing is getting back healthy. You know, all our guys are back now. Um, the guy, um, both offensive linemen back, you know, quarterback that got healthy, running backs. The biggest thing is just getting everybody healthy but still going out and getting a good body of work. Um, I thought we um, had great enthusiasm, you know, and thank the guys ready to go this week. Well, I think uh, in that game, uh, we, uh, like you said, we fought hard, uh, but we didn't fight hard enough. Uh, we got to play the game four quarters, you know. We didn't play four quarters. Uh, and they came out with a good game plan. They, they took more offense, and they knew we, we haven't been really sucking two, but maybe one or two D linemen in the game because uh, uh, we don't have very many uh, guys on uh, uh, depth wise and D linemen. And, uh, we just didn't uh, finish the game off uh, those four quarters, and um, and sometimes when you when you think you prepare for a test, and then you end up taking that test, and then you realize that test is a little bit harder than what it is. Uh, you understand? Next time you got to prepare a little harder. So I think next time uh, if we get a chance to see them again, uh, it'll be a different ball game. Well, I think it all started on Sunday. Uh, we talking about invest, investing your time in things that's going to make you better and give you opportunity to win games. And, you know, we just want the guys to come in every day and invest in the practice, do the right thing. We're trying to get what we said we're going to get out of the football game, and you got to do what you're supposed to do in practice. Um, the hardest part about getting to a game when you play a team like Carver, and it's such a rivalry, is just keeping them locked in and their head straight. Uh, you you got to tell the guy to stay off, you know, stay away from social media clowns. Um, don't pay attention to what, you know, you ain't good as you are or bad as you are. Um, just focus on the task at hand. Um, and, and, and I think our guys did that. I went into that game this week feeling pretty good about our mental toughness. Um, I, to be honest with you, I knew it was going to be a cat fight. I, I just was wondering whether or not we were mentally tough enough to handle the situation. And right there when, when the game, I guess it was about three minutes left to go in the game, and Carver had stoppers on the third down. And, you know, my coaches started screaming, man, go for it on fourth down. And, and I was like, no, nah, we're we, we just going to play football. And we messed around and we punted right there. We punted and done it and, and played it. Played football the right way. Ball ended up at the one yard line. Um, it, and it's just, it's just the football guards kind of reward you when you do the things right that you're supposed to do in the game and not be foolish, which I was in the league game. Um, so, you know, things like that just, just made it better. And, and, and I told the guys, it don't matter what the record is when you play card. When you play card, everybody going to fight card. And, I thoroughly enjoyed that game as a football man. I enjoyed that game. Guys hit, guys was at their assignments. Um, you didn't have a lot of bickering back and forth between the players. You just had a lot of football. So um, all in all, we, we, we're glad to get in, get in the playoffs and glad to get a region win. And um, it just happened to be called who we played. So all in all, we'll take that victory. Well, I'm a firm believer in if, you know, the game is going to be easy if you make practice hard. We weren't dialed in at practice, uh, and we got pretty much what we prepared for. Now, I don't believe that Prattville was 37 points better than us. Unfortunately, I mean, they're a better team than, than we are, and they beat us in all three phases of the game and in the coaching aspect. But you can't walk into a game, whether it's Thursday night or Friday night, come out there half prepared or not not dialed in, not focused, expect to be a good team like that. Uh, our guys, uh, we had everything, everything was set up. You know, we win that game. We put us in a good position to make the playoffs. And we just uh, shot ourselves in the foot and threw away a perfect opportunity. So I found it to be very embarrassing as the head coach. I, was, I mean, I'm, in, uh, I'm embarrassed by it. It's very frustrating. But, hey, I, like I told the guys, when, when you prepare like that, that's exactly what you get. And that's what we got. You just said it. It's, it's cut and dry um, for our football team. You know, you know, we put ourselves in this position. 
you know, we have to, you know, rise to the occasion this week. You know, we have to get it done. There's, there's no other way around it. Um, and our focus is us. You know, you follow coming in here, you know, they do some things well. They got some playmakers, but, you know, we have enough to win the football game. You know, we got players. Um, we got to make sure, again, like that we're just in the mental state. You know, it's that time in the season to where every game matters. Like these playoff implications are, are here. You know, so this game is one of those games to where, you know, with, with you know, with all costs, we we, we got to make it happen. You know, and that's what we're playing. To well, like we had told the kids, you know, going to the bye week, the biggest thing is getting some rest, getting ourselves back to playing good football. Uh, biggest thing, just speech wise, is three and zero. Give you the opportunity to go five and zero. We want to think that we just got to win out, handle our business, we hold our own destiny. As long as we win it, we're in. Well, we just pretend the guys play out for for us now. Because uh, uh, ain't no turning back now. Uh, we need to get back in the winning column. Uh, and uh, this is a football team that uh, do some stuff that we haven't seen in a while. They come straight down here, let's they run the win team. So it can be a trap game where if you're not prepared, you can, you, you can end up losing the game. But uh, if the guys know right now, uh, they, they, we got defensive season strong. Uh, Eight and two would be a good way to finish the season, and we got to come out there and do what we need to do uh, to, uh, to to make sure that we finish eight, eight and two. And I think uh, we've been doing pretty good. Uh, we had a good good, good day yesterday at practice, uh, at practice, and um, if we continue to um, practice well, we should be fine. Well, it, it's it's really important for us. We got some guys who've been nicked up all season. Um, we have them go both ways, so um, it, it's it's good time for us. Uh, uh, we played seven games this year. Three of them were, 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 were seven, eight teams uh, that we played. So we've been in physical games. And then you add playing Carver, and uh, that's a physical game. So um, it's like I told the guys, we, we, we're a four and three team. We won one whole game. We won all three. It is what it is. Um, you got to rededicate yourself. Um, come with your practice habit. Make sure, make sure we're just doing the right things. Uh, it's the little things that usually count from now on out of the season. The guys who can stay focused the most, the guys who come to practice with the right kind of habits. Um, those are the guys who are going to last through the playoffs and through the season. Um, guys who, you know, figure they have made plays. If you, if you still think about what we've done, then you're not prepared for what we should be doing. Um, and that's kind of how we're looking at things. Uh, the Carver game is old, the Lee game is old, JD game, Park cars. There's no looking back at those games. Um, they, they are what they are. And now it's just a time for you to prepare mentally to do the right thing to end the season. We're, that's what we're going to do this week. We're going to hit a little bit, we'll scrimmage a little bit tomorrow uh, to make sure we stand within our situational game uh, and doing the things there so our guys stay mentally focused on what they need to do. So we'll be fine. We'll work on, on, on habits this week and, and, and try to get ourselves ready for the next week. Well, the biggest thing is the community, the street, commu uh, the street committee, the fans, they'll play the game for you. You know, they'll tell you what you can do, what you can't do, and they'll uh, say it to, to over and over again where it drives in your head, where you think that you only have a chance to go and uh, face the central. But then again, they'll come back and tell you how talented you are, and they'll tell you that you know, you're a college player. Well, my message is cut and dry. It's real simple. If you are who you say you are, then we'll see Friday night because you're going to be going up, you're going to be going up against a plethora of college athletes. So I don't want to see you tuck your tail and then come back and tell me that hey, you're a college athlete or that you gonna, you, you deserve to sign somewhere. Man, hey, this right now, hey, put your best foot forward. They gonna put on their pants same way same way that we put on ours. Uh, and I got respect for that for that program. Central does a good job. Coach Dukos <coughs> does a great job of making sure this team is always prepared to play. And that's what I uh, really love and admire about those guys. And I look forward to the challenge. All right, the Wolverine Nation, hey, don't panic. Continue to come out and support. Uh, we're still clocking in every day as coaches and as players. Uh, we need to support Thursday night uh, against you following. I'm at the boat. See you there. Friday night, Russell County, make sure you come out and support. Hey, drive for the playoffs right here. I'd like to see everybody right there. Lee family's homecoming. Come out and support the guys. Be in the support. Um, Montgomery, uh, got four teams trying to get in the playoffs. Hey, these kids need your support. Uh, We've battled each other all year. Um, now it's time for, for you know, for us to kind of pull for each other and, and, and try to get each other over that threshold. Come out and support the kids. Uh, all you Facebook clowns that you know telling these players or, or these people that they can't win. We ain't trying to hear that. Uh, we we gonna we gonna load up. 
our teams and we're going to get ready for this playoff run. So come out and support all these programs and make sure that you give the kids your best foot forward. Uh, the Nip fans, we off this week, so I want you to go and, you know, see, see Carver play, see Lee play, see Jeff Davis play. Hey, Paul Crossing is way up there in the woods, so we may not make it up there, but anyway, you know, we support the kids, really. Support the kids, support the, these playoffs run, um, and, and just come out and, and, and see the kids this week. Friday night, 7 o'clock Central Time in Phoenix City, Alabama. Jeff Davis fans, hope to see you there.